Well, yesterday it was the London Underground. Today's travel disruption for fraught commuters was once again on southern railways, where virtually none of the 2,200 daily services were running. As left members began their latest 48-hour strike in a dispute that's already lasted 10 months over driver-only operated trains. Paul Plummer is chief executive of the Rail Delivery Group, the body that represents all the train operators and network rail. So, Paul, leave aside the rights and wrongs here, who's right or wrong, whether it's the unions or southern. This is really embarrassing for Britain's railways, isn't it? The, the, uh, the, what we have to do is to modernise the railways. I mean, it's, it's been a great success in many ways, but it's been incredibly painful uh, for commuters and many other people using the railway uh, for quite a long time as we uh, need to invest to deal with the growth uh, and we need to modernise to deliver better services uh, right across the railway. And, and that's what this is about, and the ability of the railway industry uh, to improve things for customers. So what's the Rail Delivery Group doing in this dispute, if anything? Well, as you said, our, our members are all of those railway companies uh, and they're, they're determined to be able to, uh, to modernise and improve, to be able to invest, to be able to make the case for further investment. Uh, that means using new technology in the best possible way. It means changing practices uh, so we can uh, deliver better services and do so at, at a way that's value for money for the country. Because as you say, it is, it is so critical not just for uh, the many commuters using the railway who have been having a painful time, but actually for the economy, for the economy, um, particularly in relation to at the moment, the uh, uh, London and South East, which is so critical for uh, the UK, but right across the country as to how we continue to uh, generate and, and enable economic growth in, in our country. There have been some calls for uh, the Southern franchise to be handed to Transport for London and the London Mayor Sadiq Khan. Is, is that an appropriate response in your view? Well, I think whoever lets the franchise, frankly, uh, isn't the point here. The point is that uh, we've had decades and decades of underinvestment in the railway. Uh, we've had fantastic growth, which means that the railway is very full, and any single failure uh, now causes more problems. Uh, on top of that, we've been making that investment, and actually it's very disruptive while we do it. But at the same time, we've had this industrial relation uh, uh, issue, which uh, causes further pain uh, for commuters and, and simply changing who the franchise authority is. We're agnostic about that, and our members are agnostic about it. But making that change alone uh, won't address those fundamentals and, and doesn't uh, address the industrial relations issue that we're facing today. Well, I think you're on record as saying this isn't about safety or jobs. So what is this dispute about, in your view? Well, we're very clear, as you say, it's not about safety. The regulator has been very, very clear um, that uh, driver-only operation, it can be perfectly safe, uh, and all our members are clear about that. Uh, it's not about jobs either. Uh, Southern has been very clear as others that they want to continue with uh, at least as many uh, people as there were before, so they continue to provide uh, customer service. Uh, it's not about pay either. Even the unions have, have been clear about that. It is, on, from the company's point of view, about the ability of the industry to modernise, deliver improvements, um, and, and, and nobody should be allowed to uh, stand in the way of that if it's not uh, an issue about safety jobs or pay. So it's about management's right to manage, essentially. It is exactly that, yes. So um, people who say that in some ways this can be likened to a miner's strike on wheels, that's not uh, so far off the point. Well, the difference, one of the differences is actually this is an incredibly successful industry that has been growing. Um, and uh, in terms of the threat to people's jobs, it simply doesn't exist because uh, we have a growing industry where we need more and more people in, in, in admittedly different roles across the industry. But certainly as they have more trains, we'll need more drivers, we need more people uh, to provide customer service. Uh, so the threat that there is is so totally different to uh, the mining industry uh, where we need to make sure we're creating those opportunities for more and better jobs for people. Uh, training them to be able to deliver outstanding service for customers. Jeremy Corbyn said earlier today he'd be prepared to stand on a picket line with striking workers from Southern Rail. What did you make of that? Well, politicians will, will do what they want. I mean, our focus is on, uh, as I say, managing the uh, railway, delivering what the nation wants from the railway uh, so we can deliver better service uh, for customers uh, who've been experiencing a difficult time and we want to get back to normal as soon as possible.